All right, so before demonstrating what's on the screen, uh, so I know you're gonna keep working on number two from last week. A uh, reminder on that, not super important to say the numbers and the ands during the count, so that's when you can just like sing, you know, I don't remember what the rhythm was, but something, you know, like the da 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 or whatever it is, it's kind of something like that. That's perfectly fine for some for all the single note stuff or you're changing notes every time you pick. And <clears throat> when you're working on the legato exercise to see how fast you can get. So it's, it, you've corrected the fingers flying off of the guitar, so they're not doing that anymore, and that's great. Now you gotta keep your hand, your arm from rotating off uh, when you're doing the pull offs. So you don't wanna have your arm rotating like that, you want to make sure your forearm, your arm, it stays in one position and it's all coming from the finger, so careful of that now. So that's the next thing to really focus on when you're doing it, besides playing it accurately. Actually, what was it? I think it started over here. I don't remember what it was. I think it ended up over there. Maybe it was something like... Something like that. Anyway, yeah, just make sure that the forearm's not doing that. So, keep it all, all the motion in the fingers. All right, let's see how this guy goes. Um, well, the reminder of like, kind of quickly navigating through this. So the way I'm just kind of looking at it to memorize what to do is, so you got your seven five five to start with here, and then it all flips. So all so now the 7 is on the high note, and then the 5s are at the bottom. So you're basically taking these uh, numbers here and flipping it. And then, kind of a different kind of flip. So now all the 7s, well, all the 5s become 7s, and then the 7 becomes 5. So that kind of just flips around there. And then you continue to have the 7s from this chord to that chord. So you're just changing the top note. And make sure that when you're playing, you know, this inverted power chord here, that actually here and here you want to use your index finger to bar the E and the A string and then your pinky is going to hit the high note so this way it's much easier to transition from this chord into that chord so there's only one finger that needs to move because if you use your ring finger on the the high note here well then you got to move two fingers going from the inverted fifth chord into the regular fifth chord so here we go. I'm going to do 60, 100, 140, and 180. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and, and 3, 4, and, and 2, 3, and, and 1, 2, and, and 4, and, 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 and 1. So now at 140, I'm just going to do that sing-along type of thing. One, two, one, two, three, four. Da -da 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 Right.
saying da 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 felt right. So yeah, when you like playing songs and whatnot, you're running through the whole whatever it is you're doing, probably not going to be counting and saying everything that you're playing, and that's fine. So remember, this is just foundational building. So this way, when you are doing like I guess you call it the real thing, uh, then you're prepared. And then you also have the skills on how to break things down and uh, make it more understandable and make it more playable. So, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you again on Friday.